Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And yes, I am back and uh, we meet at the sacred and appointed time. Ah! You knew that something was going to have to be uh, wrong here. And I don't know why, but you got to think that uh, just eventually one of these things would actually work. And let's see, where do I have it? Ah, I got it right here. Let's see if we can't uh, reload it and run it again, as we said before. Yes, I'm Dave and doing Dave things, as they say in the den. Closer to the 50 minutes. Okay. Uh, got a lot of people asking what's going on today. Well, you really have kind of the last day or two of fun buying. And it's supposed to be the first couple of days of the month. So that would have given you Thursday and Friday, potentially. Although no, nobody's ever been put in jail for that. Um, I figure that you'd probably get a bit of that left over today and maybe tomorrow. Uh, of course, the uh, sycophantic press uh, on CNBC uh, doing nothing but uh, uh, harping on Apple's big dog and pony tomorrow. Uh, and the... It just it, it feels me like uh, it kind of makes me think that I have to take a shower after watching about five minutes of uh, uh, the slavish like devotion that they give to one company. I wouldn't mind if it was just that or if there were some really great rumors. I mean, if there was really something going on. But uh, there's two. I'm going to call it two things. There's two companies that they probably couldn't live without uh, that would hurt them financially and that would be if uh, Warren Buffett doesn't come on so they've got to treat him with kid gloves and of course uh, maybe Apple maybe a handful of other companies uh, they have to uh, uh, probably do their bidding I always think of that one gal that's on there that uh, her and I think her name is Eunice that ha is in China and she always looks like there's five or six uh, armed uh, uh, folks with uh, rifles pointed at her. If she says anything untoward, uh, I always wonder. She always kind of reminds me of one of those uh, uh, hostage videos. But uh, you got kind of the same thing. Anyway, eh, Maybe it's just my irritation over the years of how many of these things have been blown up way over proportion. As I said, if there was some great rumors of something coming out, but, uh, you know, as far as we know right now, and generally there's some rumors if something big's coming out. They may be a little wrong, but there's still some rumors. Uh, we have huge rumors of a slightly more square uh, eye watch. So is that enough? I think that's like a 2% of their profit, 3% of their profit. If you're CNBC, maybe nothing's going on. And so it's an easy thing to do. But uh, as I said, not much uh, happening quite yet. Uh, do not be surprised to start seeing a little bit of money coming in uh, at the end today and tomorrow. Uh, and that could be the end of fun buying. As I said, no one's ever gone to jail for not buying it on Monday, on the Monday or first and second. Uh, basically, there's a charter. And if you dig into any ETF or fund, charter about 80 percent, maybe 85 percent of them will say that we'll be fully invested on the last two days of the month and the first three trading days. So the six actually would be the third trading day. But many times, if they think the market's in a downturn, they don't want to get in front of it. If it if they want if they buy today and then it tanks tomorrow, 
even though that they know it's going lower. Uh, their job as a uh, as a fund manager is to try to make their numbers look as good as possible while still being 100% invested. Now, <clears throat> the money manager, on the other hand, uh, who buys the funds will probably want to know that he's 100% long or short in whatever fund he gets, and he'll hedge. He'll he will hedge off uh, the rest of that. Uh, uh, issue if he thinks it's going lower. So the head fund manager may buy, buy a lot of out-of-the-money puts or calls. Uh, he'll do a lot of other things, but he wants the, he wants the fund manager to be 100% whatever he's doing. So if it's the SMHs or if it's uh, uh, a broader index, he just wants to know that they're 100% invested in whatever he has. And that way he can uh, run his little spreadsheet and figure out exactly how much risk he has. Uh, and of course, they use a method that's not very good, but it is approved by the government, and that's all I think a lot of them care about. But uh, do not be surprised to see it a little bit more before the end of the day. Do not uh, be surprised uh, that they try to whip up a fervor, uh, a cultish fervor tomorrow on Apple. And uh, a few more other things. Um, one of the big problems with September is that generally or mostly the biggest downturns have been in September, going back to the uh, crash of 1929. So if there is a month where you're probably considering using options rather than uh, buying equities if you go long, probably not a bad time to do it. Um, I think you want to, if, if you're trading, just know that like Friday, uh, you can get Pearl Harbor in the middle of the day, and most of the option market makers were that way. Uh, something else that actually happens tomorrow and shortens up the normal time frame is uh, what uh, some people called Weird Wally Wednesday for uh, Wall and Chuck. He was a trader. I haven't heard of anything from him in 15 years. Uh, who uh, talked a great deal about uh, about how it started to uh, work. He didn't get into great detail, but he started, and I've dug over the last 20 years of listening to it. There is uh, that whole thing where everybody's figured out because of the Black-Scholes formula that you want to be out. Uh, you want to be out of your 30-day uh, or 60-day options. Uh, and the last... Uh, seven trading days. You you want to be them hedged out. You don't want to take any more risk because you're more likely to lose more money than the money that you would keep if they just continued to go to zero. So there's this uh, kind of a automated uh, uh, black box that is always adding and subtracting uh, to positions to keep them hedged out and have the risk correct. But uh, that really starts with tomorrow. That is the Delta Neutral Day, and it happens a little early because we were closed. So we're going to have a lot of different uh, currents, cross currents, going through the next uh, pretty much 24 and eh, 26 hours, or uh, about uh, what, eight and a half trading hours. We'll be back in a minute. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. But uh, not a little higher. We're looking for some kind of action here in the next, I'm going to say, 15, 30 minutes. Uh, the reason why is a lot of these orders, uh, and if we don't get one, that's a major sign, too. That is all the money is probably in. Uh, there's a thing called a market on close order. I don't think we talk a lot about the, the uh, mechanics of trading as much uh, on this show as probably we might, but uh, market on closed orders generally come in and <clears throat> there'll be some kind of uh, trader who probably works for Goldman Sachs or uh, some of the other big companies. And they'll say, hey, I wanna buy half a million shares of so-and-so or I wanna buy or sell 100,000 shares of so-and-so. And their job is to actually get that done and you can place an order with them uh, as far as market on close. And there's a, a, there's a thing called a widely accepted price. And there's a calculation for that. And that's always been kind of the benchmark on whether or not you're getting screwed over by your broker dealer. And of course, if you do, then you move on to somebody else that can handle it, get you a better price over time. But uh, there's a few things. Anyway, the market on close order, Generally, about 2 o'clock, uh, you'll get the, or the uh, big guys, the uh, titans of Wall Street will get those. And they'll try to figure out how they can put together a market in which they can sell for the highest price and buy for the lowest price in the last hour and a half of the market. And their job is to be smart enough. Uh, of course, they kind of know where the bodies are buried. and They, they can tell people. But uh, it's not so much that they get a specific price. It's just that they are very much within the line of the average price of the day into the end of the day. So you've got a, a few things, those market on closed orders, um, and they tend to come in, and that is in the last uh, hour and a half or two hours, one hour or 30 minutes, because you could put them in, I think, anywhere up to 320. 
used to be the way it was. I think it was you could still have a market on closed order uh, that uh, you fired in at three dollars, uh, three twenty Eastern time. So you never know when some of those are coming in. A lot of times, especially in weak markets, uh, a lot of the folks try to hold their powder late until the day. Uh, but like I said, uh, with Apple tomorrow, you still probably have some money hanging out there. My guess is you'll see a lot of it. That may They may try to just fire it away at the end of the day to try to get the indexes back up and make people look a little better. They're probably thinking, Man, what can I do to sell more Apple shares tomorrow? So we're going to uh, we're going to chum the waters a bit. We're going to make the market look a little bit better. Everybody's going to think the downside's over, and we'll be able to sell something. That's kind of the theory uh, or thinking that goes into a lot of what happens actually on Wall Street. Now, of course, uh, us as retail traders could really care less. We're watching what they do. We're not watching what they say. And uh, generally, if we have a little bit of patience, uh, we can find some times where they're either pushing it down to buy it or pushing it up to sell it and uh, follow, the, uh, follow the big guy down the street and figure it out. Now, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to talk about today. Uh, Apple tomorrow was pretty much it. Um, I don't think that there's a whole lot past that. I look, you know, we got Pearl Harbor on uh, the semis last week uh, with the uh, embargo, especially of high-end GPUs. So AMD and, and uh, NVIDIA both got kind of smacked with that. Uh, Intel, I didn't really get into that much. Uh, let me see if I can bring this up here. Uh, but I, if there's a company being humiliated at the moment, uh, it's got to be Intel. I mean, the news just gets worse every single day, whether it's from NVIDIA or AMD. Now, it's not doing AMD a world of good, uh, but Intel has finally gotten back down to a very uh, is a long-term uh, move. In fact, how many years do we have to go back? trying to remember where it's at uh it's a little amazing it even farther it's five years Is that ten years you kind of there's kind of some kind of a ledge right here at about 31 bucks to 30 and you're into that today with no real sign of moving but um uh, there's uh, always going to be those that are a little better off and, uh, and those are a little worse off uh, but Intel has done nothing uh, but uh, drop the uh, chalupa or put the baby Ruth in the punch bowl, whichever of my sayings you like the best. Uh, but it continues to be problematic. Uh, Intel is not uh, is going to be raising its prices on consumer uh, workstations and high-end desktops. AMD said that they were going to keep their processors the same. Uh, there's a, a fairly decent glut of GPUs for both AMD and NVIDIA, but uh, it certainly didn't help them at all uh, to have the embargo come in. And very, you know, maybe it was I, I was off, but I went back and looked. I didn't see anybody talking about a potential embargo. This was really something out of the uh, out of left field. Now. AMD any better off? Well, I'm going to say on a percentage basis, it certainly looks better. Uh, but uh, the question is uh, that I've instantly thought about, if you know anything about the origins of the Second World War, uh, was uh, that uh, Japan actually decided to uh, bomb us in Pearl Harbor, mostly because we cut them off from uh, steel. And, of course, we were the big steel production, uh, production at, the, at the time. Now, NVIDIA has broken through the previous low with higher volume. Now, we've got a little, a little lighter volume. So you want, uh, if you are bullish on this, you want it to uh, go back up a little bit and then come back down on very light volume. Uh, you're going to have to have a lot of volume to break through that gap down 
on September 1st. Not saying you can't have it. Don't think it's likely, though, right off the bat. But you're probably going to get some kind of bounce. Then you're going to get a pullback to about 132. And that is probably at the point where you might find at least a temporary low in these. But again, what do we have? We've got fun buying probably over today or tomorrow. That's a, probably about a percent uh, in this market. On the positive side, there's some other things that are positive in this market, but it hasn't worked re, uh, well for it. So we want to keep uh, keep ourselves on tinder hooks and uh, stay frosty. None of this actually looks good. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I have our first uh, question from the den today about uh, Kamiko. Let's go back and look at a smaller time frame. Uh, you're back into the previous highs. The volume's about the same. My guess is that we're seeing some consolidation and we really need to see a break of the high to get it out of this big trading range from about 22 uh, to, tw uh, to 30. Uh, my belief, though, is that it probably will not go and break below this uh, $25 level again, where you had the uh, double gap. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why. I think I actually wrote about it in the Tech Insider uh, on Friday. But uh, there's, a, there's a lot to be said for what Kamiko does. And even if someone else wants to do it, the number of years that would it take 
uh, to get in uh, in line for what they do are ready. Uh, they are a commodity seller, so as the price goes up, they should do well, uh, just like uh, the energy companies uh, who buy crude and refine it. Uh, they're kind of the same in the kind of the same vein. You didn't really have the kind of, of uh, energy blowing through the top. That's probably pretty understandable with the, the uh, markets we have now, which are kind of sour. No one wants to stick their neck out. Uh, but uh, I think you're going to bounce around in these levels until you get back up to 32 and a half. And we're going to break through that. And then that's going to be some pretty much open field running. Uh, could it do it in this next move? It could. My guess, though, is you're going to consolidate out in this uh, 28 to 30 dollar range for a little while uh, until crude starts going higher and then you're going to find uh, ccj follow it so i don't think much right now um we bought it a couple of times and made some good money in the uh path of least resistance so we'll look at that okay uh, i think i got that why is it doing this? Okay. Okay. Got that. Okay. Uh, got uh, some emails here, so we'll get to those. Uh, Coupa Software, C O U P. Or no, this is uh, coupons. Um, well, I wish there was a little less energy uh, down at the previous lows, but uh, are off the high of this August uh, 8th high. But you got to think with uh, the markets starting to uh, decline, you know, maybe a little bit higher uh, unemployment rates. Generally, coupon companies do well in those. You certainly are down on light volume. As I said, the only thing I dislike is that you came down on more energy. On coupons? I thought this is Coupa Software. He says Coupa Software. Is that wrong? It may be. Let me redraw this. It is Coupa Software. Thanks. Okay. Uh, it used to be coupons.com. Uh, Coupa Software. Let's go back through this. Cloud-based business spin management platform that connects its customers with suppliers worldwide. The company provides visibility into and control over how companies spend money, optimize supply chains, and manage liquidity. You got a high volume low at $50.54. Yeah, do you have to go into that? No. The big problem I have with almost all of these is the energy off these lows in August down to the current lows had a little more energy. And generally that means more of a U bottom than a V bottom. I do like the light volume the last few days. Uh, being that I think we're in a bear market, uh, even if you want to buy some of these things at the lows, I think you have to wait and make darn sure uh, that you test the lows. Uh, probably never more important. And on this case, I probably wouldn't buy it, even if I liked it, unless it uh, tests that candle, which is the June 17th low at $50.54. Yeah. What was the high of that day? Uh, 54.70. So you kind of got into it three days ago. So you did kind of touch it. It's on a lighter volume. My guess is a lot of these are going to find themselves uh sucking themselves back into that candle i'd at least want to see something like uh 52 uh on that and fill at least that candle about half the way uh before i would do anything and then again my guess is that with the energy on the way down it's more of a u bottom uh than a v bottom uh, uh okay Okay, got a couple more emails. See what you have here. And the Nugman checks in. Thanks again. 
Vic. And see what else here. Okay. Uh, to, to, let's go ahead. Uh, one of the other things that's really starting to... Yeah, let's do this. In FLX. Uh, one of the things that's really starting to come along is uh, these video streamers have a thing called tune-out time. Uh, T-O-T. And the uh, the backbone of the internet has gotten fairly good at figuring out people watching different uh, shows even though they're being streamed uh, Nielsen's worked on this a little bit some of the other companies but the tune out time TOT is becoming kind of a metric uh, for Wall Streeters on how these different companies are doing now let's say that you watch some uh, uh, TV show and it's all nice and beautiful and then they kill a kid well nobody wants to see that so you tune out so kind of uh, it, it, they now know when they do something that irritates enough people almost instantly when it's you know out for a few days that maybe they shouldn't have done it if they wanted everybody to watch the series to completion or the movie but they know when you're ticked off about something or don't want to watch it anymore so that tune out time has been uh, applied uh, to uh, a variety of companies uh, but uh, right now uh, on the biggest selling uh, uh, or not the biggest the uh, most expensive uh, series that they have uh, they're starting to uh, take a look at it for the ring of power uh, apparently, it's fairly high. Um, HBO seems to be doing the best, and that is if someone starts watching, they pretty much watch it to the close. Uh, but both Netflix and Disney are getting tune-out times that are fairly high. Now, on Disney, you finally come back, fill this gap higher that started on the 10th of uh, August. That was on 26 million shares. So you can finally say that at least it's come back into lighter volume out here. Uh, again, most of these have come back with some a decent amount of energy. Disney actually, on a chart basis, looks much better than Netflix at the moment. But uh, be advised, there is a metric for these companies now. And if they throw half a billion dollars on some series... Uh, people probably ought to watch it. And uh, we've now figured out a way to figure out if people do. We'll be back in a minute. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. And Ron asks uh, about uh, Bed Bath and Beyond. Uh, if you missed it, the uh, CFO committed suicide over the weekend. I always thought it was interesting and actually spent some time helping a uh, a skeptic who goes back and looks into things like how many people actually died during the War of the Worlds radio show and how many people actually dove out of the high rises uh, during the uh, 1929 uh, market crash and by the way none we couldn't find any in any of the newspapers or anything else uh, anyway, this guy did uh, jump out of the news uh, out of a high rise, uh, and it just kind of very interesting background. This guy's been in f uh, 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 the four of the last five companies he's been in have gone bankrupt as CFO, and there's quite a lot of money to be made going out of business. We've brought it up uh, before. Uh, the downside is he may have gotten a little bit of greedy uh, this time and one time before. And uh, they were coming after him for a pattern of uh, marking up stock and selling out. Um, so, as I said, he took the easy way out. I don't know how easy that is because if I ever I, I just look at something and I'm scared to death. But uh, yeah, I don't know if that is. Uh, uh, I don't know if this is uh, the beginning of the end for Bed Bath and Below. But uh, certainly, it's not a good thing uh, to have. But, you know, if you look at companies like this, now they, it became a meme stock. But how many companies can we count off now that took years to go out of business and sucked up huge amounts of cash uh, in the process? Sears, Kmart, uh, Radio Shack. These things hung around for forever uh, through a bunch of uh, financial chicanery uh, and uh, very few of those people actually had to pay the price but uh, as they said in the godfather you can steal more money with a briefcase than you can with a gun uh, <laughs> yeah it is it's that's it uh, everybody talking I don't know maybe I missed it here about EVs today um, and talking about Rivian a lot of these stocks that did sell off early have kind of been burnt out. You got a little bit of move up here on Rivian. I think uh, any of these EVs, uh, every time uh, the cartel actually uh, starts talking about raising prices, is generally a good thing. But even in, uh, we talked about China not letting people uh, recharge their cars before we went on vacation. Uh, now it's Los Angeles having the same issues and saying, well, we can't let you uh, recharge your car because uh, we got problems just producing the electricity. We need now less, uh, less you pull something like that off that pulls a lot of power. Uh, but uh, I don't th I think everybody probably gonna look 
past a lot of that. But, uh, you know, as I, I think I brought this up a few times, uh, and that is if I was a land guy, it takes four times as long or maybe even eight times as long uh, at a gas station to recharge uh, a uh, electric vehicle compared to a gasoline powered vehicle. And that's probably going to get slightly better. But how many more corner uh, electrical places are we going to need to recharge um, if you had just the same amount of gas pumps, uh, but four times as many people taking four times as long? You got to think that a lot of those corner uh, uh, rallies and and uh, thirst, I think is it Thurston's, Thursby's, whatever they are down here on the corner and Wawa's, probably not a bad business to be in. If you've got a lot of room, because you're going to need it uh, for those rechargers, and the people are going to have to stay there for a while, so they they may not be in a bad business uh, as gasoline eventually goes uh, farther into either electricity or hydrogen. Of course, hydrogen basically the same time that it takes to recharge a car as uh, a gasoline, but. Um, if they're going to continue with a lot of these electric vehicles, corners for gas stations that have not just a little but a lot of land where they can, you know, let people uh, get next to uh, a, a recharging cable, probably not a bad business. I wonder if it'll do better than the actual cars over time. Tesla chargers at the uh, at the strip malls. Eh. That'd be interesting. Uh, be interesting. Okay, it says in California, this is Duffy, they tell us not to charge until after 9 p.m. Most people drive less than 30 miles a day. Easy to top that up at home overnight. Uh, Tesla charger at Wawa's, and they have a deli. You know, the ones I have here, I haven't seen any charging stations. So maybe that's something else. Yeah, the shopping centers... So I wonder how many people really want to do that. If you're, you know, if you're going home, I guess you can just plug in there. Yeah, California. Yeah, they've been giving 30 grand away to uh, to uh, uh, Tesla for every car sold for like forever. So, yep, same thing. Uh, go back here into this. Okay. Uh, question uh, to take an actual look at the chart of Apple before their big dog and pony tomorrow. Eh, really not bad, a little bit lower. As I said, I'm not really, unless something really comes out from out of the blue, uh, which we haven't heard or seen, and generally there's at least some leak, and as of this morning, I didn't see much of anything. But uh, certainly, you know, could, it, could they get anything if it bounce maybe 162 if they really came out with something but uh, I think the big problem is any bounce you get uh, we're instantly out of fun buying by Thursday so that's kind of problematic um, let's see what we have here really haven't gotten anything yet uh, for the market on close I don't see anything at least in the indexes down 14 uh, so yeah Delta neutral day tomorrow. I'm probably going to see a lot of action both up and down more than we had today. Crude oil. Let's take a look at the XLE for uh, Robert. And yeah, the OPEC rattus, uh, rattling their sabers uh, about riding prices high. Just down on lighter volume today on the XLE. Not a lot going on. Um, you've got it. You know, you basically completed an ABC, and like I said, I think just because of the market conditions, even some of these that are doing well are acting more like a U bottom instead of a uh, V bottom, and that may take maybe into the 15th, maybe into the middle of the month before uh, those even start moving back higher. We'll be back in a minute.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Well, as we wrap up the show, we're going to learn a great deal in the next day or so. Uh, as I said, uh, we'll find out if anybody decides to plow in before the end of the day and we get any money from fund buying or if everybody's just uh, so gun shy that it doesn't matter. If we close lower today, probably not a good thing. But again, you can get market on close orders in the last 30 minutes. Uh, by the time we get in tomorrow, uh, of course, the song and dance for Apple will be a big deal. Uh, we'll see if uh, maybe somebody left a little money out there to chase Apple higher uh, and uh, try to suck some more people in. Probably the big news of the day is going to be the TLT. If I had any one thing to talk about, uh, certainly the dollar uh, and the uh, TLT. Uh, the last major low was June 16th, uh, and that was at 107.48 for the TLT. You had 26 million shares. You got 16 million shares now. You haven't quite touched that absolute low yet. Uh, energy, actually, if you just looked at this on a chart basis now, probably not bad. My guess is you're going to have more like 40, or excuse me, you're going to have more like 20, 21 million shares uh, at the close of the day. But if that was one uh, that I was going to look at and see how the volume came in, um, that would be, this one would probably be it. And that is that test of that June 16th low. 
Um, one of the other things is you do have a potential three gap play out here too. And if this is the last gap, it goes that the idea would be that you could get a rally back to where this started. And that would be in the high 113s or 114. So maybe the Fed blinks a little bit. Maybe that reverses a little bit. But uh, certainly you may be finding a little, uh, little sand beneath your keel as the Titanic goes down right about this time. I've mixed enough metaphors for one day. We'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems important.